Hey guys, welcome to this super random video. I am about to open all my packages that I've been saving for the past two or three weeks. I'm so excited because I normally rip open packages within the first five seconds. So there's definitely been a lot of self-control here, but I am excited to finally bloody open it. And there's just clothes, makeup, just random stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first package I'm going to open is not going to be the one that I purchased, but it's actually a PR package that was kindly sent to me by the Atelier and Co. They responded to my story where they saw how jacked my nails were, but they're much better now because I've removed the shellac that I had on ages and ages ago, eight weeks ago. So they're a little less janky, even though one nail is kind of broken. I really don't normally have long nails because when I do people's makeup, I just cannot. It's just really unhygienic regardless of what people tell you. I see a lot of celebrity makeup artists with incredibly long nails and it's just very cringe. If I'm in the lockdown, why not just indulge a little bit in the longer nails? But cute the box says i've got 99 problems and my nails ain't one cute lollies we love that thank you very much and a little card thank you okay i'll show you the designs that i chose i'm pretty basic to be honest with you i don't really ever do anything crazy and so the first design if you guys can see it just has like a little lilac tip on the end i don't know if it's focusing don't focus on me please the other one is like a matte burgundy, which I thought was cute. I really like red and I really like burgundy. I love it. Thank you so much for sending them over to me. I can't wait to use them. Yeah, I'm just going to make the most of the lockdown and being allowed to have long nails. I love long nails. Don't get me wrong. I wish I could have long nails every single day, but I just cannot with doing people's makeup. It's just, yeah. I can't, unfortunately. So next up, I have my Sephora package. I have been waiting for this for so long. It took ages. I think there was a while where the OzPost was just really struggling. But it's here. It is. Or well, maybe I should just open it and show you first. Oops, there goes the product. So I only bought one thing. This is the Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush. The reason why I bought this was because I've already tried one of the Rare Beauty blushes and I found it to be too matte. I love the Rare Beauty packaging. It's really simple. It's very clean inside. It says you are rare. And this is in the color Nearly Mauve. And the reason why I bought this was that it was meant to be much more luminous and much more glowy than the one that I purchased. But... The packaging's really cute. Oh my gosh. I'm doing the old school YouTube hand behind the product thing because this camera actually needs a bit of help focusing. So I'm not just taking the piss. Rare beauty. Cute. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's like raised. I think this color is not really a color that I would normally buy, but I feel like none of the colors in the range are colors I'd normally buy, so it's totally fine. It's just nice to experiment with something else. But it's much creamier than the liquid. <gasps> My stomach, if you can hear it. I'm gonna pop it on the back of my hand. Cute. It's very silky, blends out like a dream. It looks very natural as well. I think this seems like an everyday kind of blush. I think this matches my lip balm that I bought with them very, very well, if I can show you. I think these two would go very well together. I think it's very monochromatic. Next up, let's get into the clothes. Princess Polly. They had a sale and I just was so tempted to shop, but I was like, don't do it, don't do it. And I just waited a couple of days and then I was like, fuck it, let's just do it. First up, I don't really know what I was thinking when I was buying this top. You know when they model clothes and it looks amazing and you know that it's very risque, but you buy it anyway and you don't really know where you're going to wear it to. It's just one of those tops. But the colour is cute. As you can see, I'm just having a huge blue moment. I'm obsessed with blue. Anything baby blue, sign me up. This top was so cute. And I'm going to try it on. And I'm going to try it on with something else that I bought from somewhere else. So you can see as a whole package what the vision was. And I'll show you a picture of the girl wearing it. Looking at the picture and I was thinking, how the fuck do you style that? But it looks so good. And it was like $15 sold i'll take it i don't know if i'm ever really gonna wear it out anywhere the quality is so nice i feel like every time i buy stuff from princess polly even though i know it's all the same like all the fast fashion stores are the same right they all sell the same stuff but for some reason for years and years and years i've really only been buying from princess polly because their quality is consistently good i don't know what it is and i don't know if it's just in my head but i really like the stuff from princess polly next 
top that I bought. This was more so to wear over like gym gear. I thought it was really cute if I could just wear this with some gym gear and keep it nice and casual. And I like that they do compostable bags. I really appreciate that. This is the little cute crop top that I bought to just wear over gym gear if I ever go back to the gym one day if we're out of this lockdown. Just a little jumper like that and you just i don't know i just think it's so cute i always just wear the same comfy clothes again and again and again i feel like once you have a good jumper you just don't really ever buy new ones but lately i've just been wanting to redo my whole wardrobe i've just sort of like re-sparked my love for like fashion again i've always loved clothes and i've always loved dressing up but for the past few years for some reason that spark kind of died out i don't know why but yeah in the past few months, I just realized like dressing well just makes you feel so much better. You don't have to buy expensive designer things. I think sometimes cheap clothes, even though fast fashion is bad, I do know that. Tried doing secondhand sometimes maybe. But lately I've just been loving clothes again. So it's from Cotton On. And one of the recommendations for bike shorts when I made that poll and that discussion was Cotton On. I didn't really vibe with any of the ones that they had on the website. I just wasn't sure. I feel like sometimes gym gear, I prefer spending just a little bit more to get a slightly better quality especially when I'm working out I want to feel really comfortable I hate it when things dig into me or like when it feels really rough so I wasn't sure about the actual sports range however there were really really cute shorts in the everyday like clothing range so right after I bought that top I saw these shorts and I was like this is it it's got a perforated edge which is amazing thank god love that love the blue I had a feeling the blue might be a different shade to that blue it wouldn't be a perfect match but I can deal with that that's fine. <gasps> really buttery, really soft. Yay. But how cute is the color? I freaking love blue. I'm just having such a blue moment. It's been like that for the past year. I just love blue. I love blue in everything. I'll get it in every color. But these shorts, the quality, I'm actually so surprised right now. I bought this for like 20 bucks, maybe even less. But the quality and the feel is so nice i'm actually so surprised this is cotton on to be dead honest with you i cannot even believe it it says i used to be a plastic bottle that's so cool but i'm gonna try them on with the blue set I'm gonna set the scene there's a random table out there don't mind that table but let's focus on the outfit so i actually tried this top on with those knit pants and it was not a vibe so i decided to pop on some jeans that i already had these are from zara the quality is amazing. It's really nice and thick. I thought it would be so see-through. You could see my boob and everything, but it's actually not. You can see my nips, but that's another story. I feel really comfortable wearing it because when you tie it together, it really holds down that area here. And I just can't imagine like flashing anybody, to be honest with you. I think she's really cute. So these are the cotton on bike shorts and I was supposed to wear these with that Princess Polly top but it just did not look good. But I think with this Princess Polly crop jumper however it works really well. I, th I was really worried for a second because I just thought like oh my god I actually can't wear this anywhere. But I think with this crop tumper, tumper? I think with this crop jumper it looks just so much better but I really like it. I'm really into it and the quality of this is so buttery and it's so nice. I'm really surprised honestly. I'm a little bit shook. The one thing I'll say about seamless like shorts and like active wear is that I find that it just like exaggerates the poon. I don't know what it is even if you don't have a camel toe I feel like it just draws the attention there but anyway and this jumper is a nice and thin it's not too thick i'm actually glad i didn't get this jumper when it was a little bit colder i think it's more of like a spring summer throw over kind of situation it's very cropped it's quite thin as well and that is the book yeah I like it. Next up, I have another pair of shorts. Now, everybody recommended the Elite 11 bike shorts. The reason why I asked everybody for their recommendations for bike shorts was because years and years ago, I wore the Nike Pro shorts and I fucking hated them. They gave me a camel toe everywhere. They kept riding up. The fabric was that really slinky fabric that heaps of sports leggings used to be and I feel like I haven't seen that material in so many years because I think people just don't like wearing them anymore but I just never wore bike shorts again but now that they're kind of having a moment I'm ready to open my heart again to bike shorts and hopefully these recommendations are amazing which I'm sure they are because yeah I trust you so these are the aura shorts in the color sage and I bought them in a size small I didn't want to get black because I just felt like a lot of my gym gear is already black and I'm just trying to revamp my entire gym wardrobe to feel a bit better, feel a little bit brighter for spring and summer. Very nice, very soft. I really like them already. They feel really nice. 
I find that when the seam lines on the back of the butt, when they look like that and it's straight across, it makes your butt look really flat. So I'm very curious to see how this will look when it's on because a lot of people said it made their butt look really good because I find that normally when it's straight ahead, it just cuts off your ass and it doesn't give you any curve at the top. Well, we shall see. So these are the Elite 11 shorts. I really don't mind them. I feel like they fit pretty well. I do have a pair of their leggings. So this kind of just reminds me of the same thing except cut off. Really, it's the exact same thing. And so this is the back of the leggings. And I will say as well, like I mentioned before, when the seam kind of cuts straight, it cuts off a portion of the butt. And it doesn't create an illusion that the butt is quite full at the top. When you have the seam sitting up a little bit higher, it looks like your butt is a bit fuller. But when it sits straight and it cuts off just there, sometimes it can just cut off a bit of the butt. But other than that, I don't really mind it at all. But I think for what they are, and if you're just trying to work out and just get through your workout with any gym gear, I feel like these are great, honestly. So the next package is from Muscle Republic. I have been raving on about these tops. Honestly, my favorite gym top. I'm ready to throw out everything else that I have. The color white. Instead of going up, it scoops into the neck and I freaking love it. And it crops perfectly for me at my waist. The one thing you should probably keep in mind with me when I try on these things is that my torso is very long. I'm 167 centimeters, which is not crazy tall, but it's not really short either. It's somewhere in the middle. I find that my torso is very long and my legs are a little bit shorter. So keep that in mind. My torso is a little bit longer than my legs for some reason. So I find that this top sits on my waistline perfectly and so when it's tight and then you've got your leggings that are sucking in from the band as well it just gives you this nice shape and it really keeps everything nice and taut around here and so the size that i got is an extra small the reason why i got an extra small and i've said this in my stories but if you don't look at my stories that's totally fine but the reason why i got an extra small is because my chest is really small when i wear a sports bra in particular like it's not invisible when i have a normal bra on but when i wear a sports bra it's concave you cannot see my chest it does not exist so that's why i get an extra small i have a small and it's nice as well but i find that it's still a little bit ripply and it's still a little bit loosey-goosey in some areas so i prefer it if it's an extra small and this is in the color black and yeah black is black and i feel like it's going to be really nice and slimming as well this is my favorite gym top of all time you can see why i get an extra small because as soon as i put on a sports bra this thing is just like flat literally i also just got a little bit of makeup on it as i was putting it on but i just love the way it sits it usually sits just around the waist and it just sits perfectly and so that is the back of the top i am obsessed with this top i really love it i think it's the best Black literally can never do no wrong. It just is so slim fitting. I feel like the design is already really slimming and then you have the black on top of it and it's even more flattering. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. I'm surprised I didn't get black earlier, but I feel like I've been trying to spice up my gym wardrobe a little bit and just trying to get more color than black because it's a little bit boring, but yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Lucky last package. I left the most boring one till the end because some of you guys might have left already. So this is from True Protein. It's one that I've been drinking for a while. I actually got it as a present from my friend ages ago and she bought me the chocolate flavor and I loved it. And then I bought the vanilla flavor recently, which I finished and I didn't mind it. But then I realized like, I just prefer the chocolate flavor. I think it's just easier to drink. Whereas with the vanilla one, I hated drinking it on its own. I always had to put it into a smoothie. Whereas with the chocolate, I could drink it just with almond milk and I could shake it up and it would just be just fine. It would just be just fine. Does it make sense? It's funny because just as I bought this, I also bought another protein from Coles, the Amazon protein. And I drank it years and years ago. And I used to think it was so grainy, but recently when I bought it again and I started drinking it, I realized it's kind of even better than this one. So now that I'm stuck with this fucking bag, I have to finish it. I like it. it's really simple there's nothing really crazy in here which I prefer I like my proteins to be very very simple I hate it when there's heaps of like fillers and thickeners and stuff I just think that's not really yeah I just don't really like it when it's like that if you're wondering why like, I'm buying more gym gear and more protein lately I've always been working out to be honest with you I've been working out for a very very long time but I've recently just given myself new goals and I just want to make my ass bigger <laughs> dead honest with you it's summer summer's coming up I just want to have a hot girl summer. I feel like sometimes when you work out for a very long time, your goals kind of just like are very stagnant. You just like maintain, which there's nothing wrong with. Because at the end of the day, working out is all about feeling good about yourself. But I just found that I was like, I just need a new goal. And my new goal is to build a bigger booty. 
I really hope you guys liked this video. I don't know how many more of these kind of videos I can do because that would mean I would be shopping a lot and I don't think I can do that at the moment, not in the pandemic. Thank you as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time.